Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking, as the title informs you, about homeschool changes and YouTube channel changes. So get your cup of coffee, let's chat. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm not gonna waste time lollygagging. Um, <laughs> So a lot, my life, this past year of my life has been nothing but change, um, constant change. Change is the only constant in life. Um, and I know I'm not alone. I know 2020 uh, and parts of 2021 was hard for everyone. And I think that the effects of 2020, uh, the global effects, the, the national effects, the individual effects, are going to be with us for a while. Um, 2020 was a like complete tear down year for me. And how that bled into my homeschool life was instead of um, learning th the way that I love to learn, the way my kids love to learn, uh, we kind of ended up in survival mode with our learning. Um, now don't get me wrong, somehow God blessed this survival season of my life. Like somehow we still got through curriculum books. We still learned a lot. We still got to experience a lot. There was beautiful moments. When I look back on this past year of homeschooling, I'm like, wow, I see God's hand in all of it. Because honestly, there's no way we shouldn't have gotten anything done. And yet we did. And and yeah, we were in survival mode. But in so many ways, uh, we did actually thrive. Uh, so that's nothing but Jesus. Thank you. Um, now, with that said, though, it was survival. There wasn't as much of what makes me and my children love homeschool. There wasn't the enchantment and the um, the wonder in this school year. And I don't think I'm alone in that. I think a lot of parents face that. Uh, again, uh, it was 2020. Um, but after being honored uh, to speak at the Wonder Here Childhood Conference, and being around the most beautiful souls and women, the most um, wise, intelligent homeschool mamas. Um, my fire got relit, guys. My fire got relit and I now um, feel renewed and recentered, um, and also grounded in a lot of ways. So homeschool is going to look different. There's a plane flying over my house. So our homeschool from here on out is going to look very different. It's going to look less ordered and probably more chaotic to some people. Um, it's going to look less uh, homeschool picture book and more like this is our story and we get to write it and we're going to write it how we want to write it. And we're going to school how we want to school. And, um, I, you know, if you've been with me, if you've been part of this channel since the beginning, you guys know, we started with good and the beautiful, the good and the beautiful is what kind of pushed me into unschooling, into creating a more, enchanting experiences as Julie Bogart talks about in The Brave Learner. Um, and and then we found Masterbooks because I was like, okay, I wanna, for a minute I unschooled for like maybe the, like maybe like three months straight, we did nothing but unschooling. Not this year, but the year before that. And it was great. But then fear can creep in and as much as I want to unschool all the time, I also live in a state where we have to test our kids and that terrifies me for some reason. And because of that, I'm always like, okay, we can unschool, but we need this curriculum. Like we really need to focus on this curriculum. And for some reason, you know, my friend was like, well, why can't you do both? And I totally hear that. Um, but for some reason, I don't know. I can't do both. I haven't found that balance because as soon as we get rolling in curriculum, I'm like, we got to stick with this because you have to get tested. And I just kind of freak out, honestly. 
I probably could do both, but I don't know. My brain doesn't work that way. Uh, well, but I'm going to learn how to do both. We'll get to that. Uh, so um, that took me to this school year where I was like, okay, we're going to use master books because Listen, if there's any curriculum I'm going to use, it is Masterbooks because it gives me complete freedom and I like that. Um, so we're going to use Masterbooks and we'll just do our unit studies like within Masterbooks and have all the enchantment through there. Well, I went against what was working, Tori, Tori, Tori. Um, and I decided to do Gather Round instead of our homemade unit studies. And then that just went downhill. And then ever since then, um, I haven't been, I mean, we did a flower unit study and then we did our manners like unit study. Uh, those were successful. We did another one. What other unit study did we do? I'm not recalling, but we did do another one. Um, but using, trying to use gather round just failed us. Um, and it, and again, that's cause I went, I went against what was working because I just wanted to see what was out there. Um, so now we get to the end of this school year where I'm like, yeah, it was survival mode all school year. Somehow God blessed it. And there was magical moments within that survival. Um, and now we're here and now I am post, uh, the wonder here childhood conference and I just am ready to be brave. I am ready to, um, bet on myself and bet on my children and give them the education that I want to give them, give them the education that's going to free them and not just make them a student, but make them a person in this world who cares about things, who wants to change things, who can look at things and, and question things and challenge things and create things. And I'm here. I've arrived. And I am a little scared because again, I live in a state where we have to test, but, um, I think we're going to be okay. So moving forward, uh, you're going to see a lot of unschooling literature based home schooling on this channel. Um, I'm still going to have a curriculum video. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be using. But instead of using the curriculum like um, a life jacket, like we got to do it, we got to do it. I'm oh, I don't have a, another I don't have an analogy for how we're going to use it. We're just going to be using it as we see fit. There's also going to be a lot of more independent work for Journey. That is something she has voiced. She is ready to work independently. She is ready to do her own thing. She's ready for more responsibility. So you're going to see that with her. And then with Titus, you're going to see a lot of reading, um, a lot of literature, literature for Journey too, just literature, literature, literature. And it's so funny, you know, Teo, uh, I know you guys have followed Teo's experience um and while he does not like sometimes he's like yeah i'll sit down and trace the letter a uh and sometimes he's like yeah i'll sit and count and i'll sit and watch miss monica all of those are sometimes what teo consistently loves is read alouds what i consistently love is read alouds what we all love is read alouds and because we were in a survival mode, I got I got away from that a little bit, but I'm back on it. So moving forward, our homeschool is going to be a lot of, like I said, art, a lot of literature based, unschooling adventures outside of this house. Good Lord, I'm so ready to have adventures outside of this house um, and just joy joy and fun because I did not homeschool to be stressed out about it all. I homeschooled because I want to spend time with my kids and by golly, I want it to be joyful. And I know not every day is going to be sunshine and rainbows. Lord, do I know that. But I also know that fun and joy is a choice and we're going to choose it. We are going to chase it. We are going to create it every day that we get to be on this earth. Um, oh, I got fired up. But that's what you're going to be seeing on the homeschool side of things. Now let's get to the channel changes. Because of the load that I have right now, I feel that I am being called 
to make lesser YouTube videos. Now, don't panic. Um, you guys will still get a video every Monday. You will get a video every Monday for the time being. That Thursday video, I'm going to etch a sketch because um, I just can't, I can't keep up that um, schedule. I can't keep up that, I just can't. Right now, with my life, I can't. And I hope you guys can understand that. I hope you guys respect that. I hope you guys still show up for the Monday videos. And I hope you don't feel like I'm abandoning you because I'm not. I love you guys so much. And this channel is still so important to me. Um, just for this certain season, I need to pull back a little bit. Um, but every Monday of every month, you will get a video. Um, there will be lots of day in the lives. There will be in June, it's going to be a lot of curriculum. You're going to see a lot of uh, homeschool room organization. Uh, we might be moving soon. So you'll see all of that. Um, there's a lot that you're going to, to be seeing. I'm still going to be here, just not on Thursdays for now. If I ever do happen to make a Thursday video, it'll pop up. But, um, for now we're going to do Mondays. Um, and again, that's just because I can't, I, 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 what I was doing is not sustainable anymore and I'm adapting. Um, now for my membership girls, you guys know that you're getting almost twice the, um, the content now. And the reason for that is, um, I'm also being called to pour in to my membership ladies. Um, beautiful things are happening over there and I don't want to miss it. Um, I, if I was looking at my schedule and you guys, I do so much more than you guys even know. Like there's so much of my life that I don't share on here. Um, but I was looking at my schedule and I was like, okay, if there's one thing that can go, it, it can be this Thursday video. Uh, and then I can pour in to my membership mamas more. So membership mamas, you know, we're doing lives every Thursday. You guys are getting your salutate, your monthly welcome video, your womanhood Wednesday video. And um, yeah, you guys are also going to be getting something else, but we'll talk about that later uh, in one of our lives. So if you are missing me, you can come join uh, the membership where true connection and sisterhood and life groups and beautifulness is just happening all around. Um, and yeah, okay, that's the update, guys. Uh, a lot of homeschool changes. I'm excited for the new homeschool year coming up. Also a little scared. I still have not bought curriculum, uh, but I've bought all the books and I'll be sharing them soon. Um, and yeah, just stay with me during this season of change uh, that I'm in. Uh, I appreciate your support. And again, I don't want anyone to feel like I'm abandoning them. Um, I love you guys. I'll be active on Instagram all the time. And again, you still get a video every Monday. Um, and then my membership girls, you'll get all the things. Um, but I love you guys and I'm so thankful for your support. And um, I'm not gonna cry. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay. I'm really thankful for your support. Um, one day you guys will understand the huge part you played in my life, but um, I'm thankful for it. And the, the pulling back is only for a season. And hopefully during this season of pulling back, um, God will give me clarity and then I'll come back stronger than ever. All right, ladies, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I will be back again next Monday for another video. Bye, guys.